So we've come to our second um, phase of our project whereby we are supposed to make our website responsive. So we are going to start with the master pages. We are going to create our breakpoints and we are going to um, resize and reposition objects in our breakpoints. So starting with the master page, we are going to come to the um, breakpoints manager and we are going to go ahead to create three breakpoints. We are going to create for 320 pixels. We're going to create for 480 pixels and we are going to create for 768 pixels. So I'll go ahead and click on OK. Now I'm going to switch to my 320 pixels breakpoint and I'm supposed to resize the object I have in here. First of all, I'm supposed to change the size of my test over here. So I'm going to change the size of this to 461 by um, that is 88 pixels and I'm supposed to change the position of it. So the position is going to be 292 by that is um, 49 pixels. Let me just make sure this is actually being contained in my layer I have here. Let me just um, make sure that is done. So let me just move this test into this particular layer. And then let me just reduce the size of this layer. And let me just move this away so that when I resize this one, it doesn't fall inside this particular layer. So I'll move this back. Uh, let me just move this back to its original position. Let me change the size of my logo. So I'm going to change the size of the logo over here to 242 by 81 pixels. And I'm going to change the position of it. So let me just um, move this down to, um, let's just go ahead and move it down. And let me move this a little bit to the bottom. So this position is okay. I'm going to go ahead to reduce the size of this. That's the width of this particular layer. I'm going to reduce the width of my um, content placeholder. Now I'm going to reduce the width of my um, navigation links that is in the footer here. I'm going to reduce this one also. That's my copyright test. Now let me just reduce it this way and I expand it from this direction. I'll go ahead to reduce um, my footer um, layer there. I'll go ahead and do same for my, that is the space I have over here, this actual um, empty layer. Now I'm done. I think I'm done with my um, 768 pixels to confirm that let me hit on f5 and uh, i'll use the breakpoint viewer to do that that's a responsive design mode in your browser let me switch to my 768 pixels and as you can see this is my 768 pixels and everything seems to be in place but uh it looks like we have some little issue that we are supposed to correct that we are supposed to move our logo to the top a little bit so let's just Come back to our project and see how best we can do that so let's just move this to the top and um let's expand this small so this is okay move this a little bit to the bottom and uh, reduce the height of this now let's um this is going to be about okay this 92 pixels let's reduce the height of this as well so this is going to be about 80 um 88 pixels that's okay and uh, let's move this back here. Uh, and, uh, let's just make this about um, 85 pixels. Let's move this to the bottom, making sure it's aligned to the, the layer we have over here. And, uh, let's just increase the height of this a little bit. Let's just expand it a little bit more. So as you can see, um, we We've expanded the size of our logo over here. Let me just move this layer away so that we can see what we are working on properly. So that is it. Um, let me just move this back. It looks like I moved a wrong layer. Let me just come back to this one. And I'll move it back here. Let me move it a little bit to the top. Okay, so that is it. Let me move this a little bit to the top and move it to the left hand side. And now let's preview this again in our browser and take a look at how it's going to look in a responsive mode. So as you can see, we have, I think we have everything perfect in place now. We have our logo and uh, we have our test. So that is it. Now let's come back to our project and switch to our seven, um, that is four eight pixels breakpoint. And when we come to our four eight pixels breakpoint, we are going to change the size of our logo. So the size is going to be 201 by 67 pixels. Now, when we take a look at 
this test is not is not going to fit in over here. So what we are supposed to do is to actually um, try to reduce the size of the test we have in over here. So let me just expand it a little bit so that we can hide it and um, continue working with our objects we have in here. So let me just, um, before I continue with that, let me come to my toolbox, uh, my tools and come to my styles i'm going to go to the styles i created i'm going to create responsive styles that is responsive fonts so that if i switch to the various breakpoints the styles or the uh, fonts are also going to reduce so i'm going to start with a 16 gray board when i come to breakpoints i'll click on add i'm going to add for 320 pixels now mind you when you're working with breakpoint styles you're supposed to create the same breakpoint you created for a project so we have three breakpoints you're supposed to have three breakpoints as well so I'm going to create for 480 pixels and I'm going to create for 766 pixels. So under 320 pixels, I'm going to change the size from 16 to 14 pixels. Under 480, I'm going to change it to 15 pixels. Now under 768, I'm going to maintain the 16 since it's going to look OK on the 16. And I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. Now I'll come to the 18. And I'm going to create my breakpoint so for 320 pixels. Now for 480 pixels, and I'm going to create for 768 pixels. So I'll come to 320 and I'm going to change the size of this to that is um 14 pixels. Come to 480 pixels, and I'm going to change this to 16 pixels. 16 is okay. Let me just change the 320 to 15. So that is it. I'm going to maintain the 18 for the 768 pixels. I'll go ahead and click on OK and I'm going to do that for the last one that is the 18 blackboard. So I'll add for 320 pixels and I'll change the size to 15 pixels. I'll add for 480 pixels and I'm going to change the size to that is also going to be 16 pixels and the last one is going to be 768 pixels which is going to maintain the 18 pixels size so i'll go ahead and click on ok click on ok and as you realize the font we have over here has reduced a bit because of the responsive font we just um, created here now i'm going to change the size of my layer here let me just change the size to 480 by um six nine pixels let me just move um, this move this away so that is what i have over here and i'm going to change the size of the layer I just moved, which is this one. I'm going to change it to 480 by 5, 6 pixels. And I'm going to reduce the size of the rounded edge I have over there. Since I'm working with responsive design, anything I do over here doesn't really affect the other pages unless I delete. So in my case, I'm going to double click on this, come to styles, go to settings, and I'm going to change this to 10 pixels. So instead of 30, I'm going to make this 10 i'm going to make this 10 because i'm on, on a mobile device uh, it has to reduce a little bit now i'm going to change the position for it the position is going to be um, 30 by 0 by 30 pixels so this is going to be 0 by 30 pixels i hit on enter now i'm going to um, it looks like it fell within let me just do that right and i'm going to change the position of my Next, um, that is my next um, layer over there to 0 by 15 pixels, which is this one. This is 0 by 15 pixels. So that is it. And um, let me just screw up a little bit and move this to this particular. Let me just make sure this is on this. And move this to this section. Now, this is going to be big on uh, too big for 40 pixels breakpoint. So what I'm going to do is just make a copy of this layer paste it here and get rid of this social um, this navigation item since i'm not going to need it on the um, 480 pixels breakpoint all i need to do is to hide this particular layer so i'm going to go to the object manager and hide that particular layer now i'm going to change the size of this new layer i have uh, brought in here the size is going to be 480 by 45 pixels and i'm going to move it to hit the bottom edge of my layers i have in here i'm going to move this to hit the bottom edge as well and i'm going to um, hide this layer since i'm not going to use it so all i'm going to do is to make a copy of it 
and I'm going to get rid of this and rather center this test I have in here. I'm going to change the size from 10 pixels to 11. And I'm going to hide this one. I'll now double click on this and I'm going to go to styles, go to settings and change the 30 pixels radius to 10 pixels. I'll go ahead and click on OK. Move this to hit um, the bottom edge of my content placeholder. Reduce the size of this and I'll make sure I reposition this one to be in the center of the layer. Go ahead and reduce the size of the layer as well. Now the size, the height is going to be 56 pixels. I'll move this to the center of it. I'll move this to this position and I'm going to reduce the size of it as well. So that is it. Um, I think I'm supposed to get some test here. So let me just copy the test from the final project and um, paste it here. So this is going to be a test which is going to be contained in here. And I'm going to go ahead to hide this particular test. So I'll come to my object manager and hide that test. So I have my test here. Let me make sure I have appropriate styles applied to it. So that is it over here. Now I need a panel menu. So to get a panel menu, you come to your toolbox and um, you can search for panel. I click on this and I draw here. I'm going to get a size for my panel menu. My panel menu size is going to be that is 40 by 25 pixels. I'm going to double click on this. I come to styles and I'm going to make a radius of about 3 pixels. Now I'll come back to my properties. Um, that is options over here. I'm going to get rid of the test. I'm going to set the um, I'm going to change this to font or some icon and I'm going to set bars. I'm going to look for bars. I'll click on OK and I'm going to change the offset for my um, icon. So the offset is going to be 12 pixels. And I'm going to enable over to indicate the actual page, uh, page I'm on. I'll come back to the um, general section and I'm going to go ahead to create my, my, uh, my navigation item. So I'm going to create for home. I'm going to create for about us um, that is services i'm going to create for that is um, about our company the next one is going to be frequently asked questions as fuck and the uh, next one is going to be feedback and the next one is going to be gallery now I'll go ahead and link uh, my Navigation items to its respective pages. So I'm going to link this to the index page. I'll click on OK. Link this to the services pages. The services page, I'll click on OK. Link this to the about us page. I'll click on OK. Link this to the frequently asked uh, page. I'll click on OK. The feedback is going to go to the contact us page. And the gallery is going to go to the gallery page. I'll go ahead and click on OK. Now I can go ahead and set fonts, um, awesome icons for my navigation object I have there. So I'm going to change this one home. I'm going to look for home. So this is going to be home. Let me just look for identify home. This is home. Services, I'm going to set gear. I'll look for gear. I'm going to select gears. And about our company, I'm going to look for users. So let me just look for, um, I think users will do. And uh, frequently asked questions, I'm going to look for, I think, quotes or comments. Uh, let me just look for comments. So I'm going to scroll through to look for comments. So I think I have comments here. I'm going to select commenting. Then I'm going to select feedback that I'm going to use comment. So I'll scroll through and look for comment. So I'm going to use comment. And um, gallery, I'm just going to see if I can identify something. Let me just uh, scroll through and see what I can get for gallery. Let me just um, see if I can get something appropriate for my gallery. Let me just use this camera. Click on OK and click on OK. Now I'm going to move this into this new, um, this layer over here. Now make sure it's uh, positioned well here. I'll go ahead and um, let me hit on F5 and preview this in my browser. Uh, okay, it looks, it looks like we have some issues over here because we brought in new layers. Now let's go ahead and fix that. So because we brought in this a new layer as well as this a new layer, we are supposed to get them hidden on there. 
other break point. So when we come to 7, 6, 8, what we have to do is to stretch this and um, just um, hide it. And we are going to hide this one as well since we are not going to use it here. And uh, we are going to go to, let me just come back to 7, 6, 8 pixels. Let me reduce the size of this to fit the actual width of the page. And uh, let me just hide it. I'll come back to my 7, 6, 8. And I'm going to do the same. So let me just reduce the size of this. And I'm going to hide it. I move this here. It's actually having the same size. And I'm going to hide that as well. So now let's hide this one too. And um, go ahead and preview this in our browser. So we have our page. Everything seems to be okay. Now let's come to our responsive design mode. And let's switch from 768 to 480 pixels. And as you can see, we have everything perfectly here. Now when I click on this, it shows me the menu links. Now I'm going to go ahead to change the alignment from the center to the left. Now if let me just expand this a little bit and as you can see you can see the rounded edge which is not the same as the 30 so this is the 30 and if you take a look over here this is 10 now i'm supposed to change this one from 30 to 10 because we brought um, we copied and pasted that uh, layer we are using over here so let's double click on this come to styles and change this from 30 okay we have 10 10 10 set let's go ahead and preview this and see how it's going to look Place that here, and uh, it looks like uh, let's see if it's actually bearing. So, these are 30, this is also 30. This should be 10 pixels. Let's just get that right. So, I'll come to my settings, and uh, let me just uh, uncheck. Let me just check this once, click on OK, and I'll preview this again. That's too much. Let me come back to my 480 pixels. It still looks like it's still bearing 30 pixels. Let me just try to identify why it is so. Let me come back to styles and uh, let me just make this none. Preview this. And uh, let me just switch. Uh, it looks like I closed my browser. Let me open it again. So as we hold on a bit whilst our browser is loading. So we have our browser here. Let me come back to my responsive mode. This is um, it's still barren. Um, I don't understand why it is doing so, but let's just come back here and see what we can do to it. Come to styles and uh, change this to custom. Come to your settings and uh, uncheck this. Uncheck this. I'll click on OK. Click on OK. Let's preview this again and see how it's going to be uh, display in our browser. Okay, um, it looks like it's still going to be the same, but we can correct that. Let's just move this test away from it, delete it. Let's copy this and uh, paste it here. Move this back to its uh, actual position. That is this over here. We are actually supposed to reduce the height of it. So let's, uh, because of the text being contained in it, that is why it is giving us a little bit hard time reducing it. So let's just hide the test again and uh, move this back. And this time around, let's double click on this. Come to styles, come to settings, change this to zero, this to zero, make this 10, make this 10. Click on OK. Make sure you change the background image to its appropriate image. So it's footer PG. Move this to its uh, position. Let me just move this here and move this test into it. But since we've brought in a new, we've brought in a new layer here, we are supposed to make sure we hide them on the other breakpoint. So I'm going to let me just move this to this section, reduce the width of it, and come back to Object Manager and uh, make sure I get it hidden. I'm going to do the same for this particular section. Expand this a little bit to hit the actual width of the page and hide it as well. I'm going to come back here 
to my 480 pixels breakpoint and I'm going to preview that page and uh, see how it's going to look in my responsive design mode. So as you can see, uh, it looks like it's bearing the top. Let's just come back and correct that. Something must be wrong somewhere. Let me just apply a border of one pixel to all. Uh, let me just apply a border of one pixel, which is going to bear the color of the page. Let me just uh, select the color of the page so that it doesn't become visible. reduce the size of the layer back to its original state. Now let's preview this again. Okay, so I think we have everything correct now. So as we wanted, we have 10 pixels here, we have 10 pixels here. So now let's continue with our project. Let's switch to, that is um, 320 pixels breakpoint and um, we are going to rearrange our things, our object over there. So first of all, we are going to start with the logo. We are going to change the size of the logo to 204 by 69 pixels. We are going to move this test here. We are going to reduce the size of our test. So let's just move this away and make sure we get it right. So let's expand this uh, test a little bit so that it can be contained in that layer so that all we need to do is just hide the layer so let's just move this here and uh, let me move this here move this to head to the bottom of it and uh, let me see if I hide this and let me just expand this a little bit so I'm going to go ahead to expand this a little bit and I'm going to move this. Okay, so that's okay now. I'm going to reduce the width of this to 320 pixels. I hit on enter. And I'm going to move this to the top section. So I have this layer here. Let me just um, click on this. Move this down. Let me move this away. Let me hide this because I'm not going to use it here. Now I double click on this, I'm going to styles, go to settings and I'm going to change this to 30. That's 10 pixels, 10 pixels instead of the 30. I'll go ahead and click on OK. And I'm going to change uh, the height of it, the height as well as the width of it. So I'm going to change the size from 320 by 60 pixels. I'm going to move this to this position. I'm going to move this here. Let me reduce the height of this a little bit. Okay, so that is it. Now let me move this to, let me, I'm going to need this test here, uh, this particular layer here. And I'm going to reduce the size of the test I have in here and I'm going to position it in the center of the layer. I'm going to go ahead to reduce the size, that's the width of this layer. And I'm going to reduce the width of my content placeholder as well. Now I'm going to Get rid of this since I need I wouldn't need it on my mobile. That's 320. I'm going to hide it. Now I'm going to change the properties of this. I'm going to go to styles, go to settings, and I'm going to okay, maintain my 10 pixels. I'm going to change the color to the color I used, and I'm going to change the size of it to 320 by 56 pixels. I'm going to reduce the size of my test in here, position it in the center of my layer here and I'm going to reduce the size of my layer. So I'm going to go ahead to reduce the size of this layer as well. Now I'm going to preview this in the browser to see how it's going to look. So I'm going to switch to my responsive design mode. I'm going to start with 768. So this is my 768. I can expand it a little bit and as you can see this is my 480 pixels and this is my 320 pixels. It looks like I have some issues here. So let's go ahead and solve that. I double click in this layer, come to my styles, come to my settings. And uh, let me just take away the one pixel border I added here. And let me just click on OK, click on OK. Now let's preview it and see how it's going to display in our browser. So we have for 320 pixels, so it looks like it's still giving us the issue 
let's just change this back to it's um let's just make this one pixels no um, let's reduce this and um, uncheck this make it one pixel here one pixel here as well and um, let's uncheck this click on ok click on ok to bring it to its original size now let me switch to my responsive 320 pixels looks like we have some border here that we don't need but um let's just continue with the rest of the pages and see if we preview this it's going to still be the same but uh let me just see one more time if something can be done about it let me just change this to zero this to zero and change this to about nine pixels nine pixels click on ok click on ok and uh, let me just change it to 320 by 56 hit on enter let me preview this again and make sure i get it right this time around so as you can see we have it uh, perfectly done now now let's continue with the rest of the pages so we are done with the master page the first master page everything seems to be in place now we are going to continue with the other master pages in the next videos